In these recent years, my wife and I have been um, really delving into diving into the low cost, no cost type activities for our tamariki. Um, given that we have six tamariki, um, we're sticklers for packing a chili bin of kai, um, whether it's the leftovers from you know, from dinner or some of the kai sitting around. We might just have to go buy a bag of chips or something to go with our kai for the day and finding a spot. So do a, do some homework before whether you're traveling or within your own home. If you're not traveling, you're still within your takiwa. And be be creative, but step outside your norm and go and explore some of those spaces that you wouldn't rather normally explore. Take your chili bin, take some cooked kai, and, and share that moment with your tamariki. And you'll, um, you'll expend a lot of energy with your tamariki. They will expend a lot of energy uh, going to the ngahere, like do some walking tracks. A lot of the walking tracks around our Mutu now are so awesome and uh, local councils, regional councils have done awesome jobs of um, providing um, those spaces, you know, free of charge to our whanau. And there are spaces where there's um, no cost barbecues, just turn up, you know, take your tongs, take your fish slice, a little bit of oil and some paper and a, and a, and a and a bottle of water to clean the barbecue. It's simple. <laughs> Turn that barbecue on, get it hot, get the hot plate hot, put some water on there, wipe it down with the paper, and then oil it up and you're away. Try some sausages there, some eggs or some boiled eggs to take with you, and the kids are easy to please. As long as they've got a sausage and some tomato sauce and an egg or a boiled egg and some chippies, they are happy as can be, happy as Larry. And that's you know, a couple of bucks here and there. And uh, go to the river, do some rock stacking. And if you have some kōrero, local knowledge about uh, uh, well, if you're in another takiwa and you find a local that can give share some knowledge, um, take that opportunity and sit there and, you know, and marvel at the environment that you're in and, and marvel at the at the iwi or the people, the hokaina and what they do to preserve their environment and, and see what you can do to contribute while you're there. If it's picking up some rubbish, there's a lot of teachings that we can teach our tamariki so they can learn to respect others as well as respecting themselves and understanding that connection of Māori or te tangata ki te taia. But I think the communication too with your with your tamariki is also key as well to let them know that what we're going to do and get their input when you get them involved um, and stop doing all the planning from the parent level, you'll find that things are going to run a lot smoother because it's how they feel too. Oh, I don't feel like doing that today. I don't really feel like walking. I got a bit of headache, like all that sort of thing. But I using what's around you, Tai Ao is awesome. I've got um I'm gonna kick in the background here is my backdrop. And um fortunately that's not too far from my fale. So uh walking up there to see the hippie and the co and stuff like that, walking around it fascinates my, my 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 little guy, you know, he's four. So and everyone else just loves you. Find when you walk and talk, you don't feel the distance. So you're actually spending quality time, you don't really get to have that core at all with your kids a lot of the time because life's so busy but when you find you're in an environment where it costs nothing to walk around these regional parks these council areas and stuff use those beaches uh flap out a towel just lie there and you know the treat's going to be an ice block if we can get one later it doesn't have to be about money you know we're the same we got on much more google and we check out what's free what's happening in, in atomic bakoda where can we go to what sort of celebrations? Different cultures are celebrating different things too that we must be mindful of. So we can join in there. We can learn things. We can teach our tamariki those things as well with different cultures while we're out. Um, but being together is the main thing for us. For us as a Fano, sometimes, and if you're if you're not a Fano that like to go out, um, like to point out, it's okay just to be at home. It's okay just to be at home doing absolutely. Kore, you know, it's okay to be just reading a book at home if Christmas is not your thing. So I just wanted to point that out to papas. And, you know, it's not always, it's not always you go out, you must do this, you must do that, you must do that. Because come the next day, you're going to have to find something else to do. <laughs>